University presidents have introduced a bold new idea on how to cope with binge drinking on campuses across the country. Here's Adam with the story. Around the country, there's a buzz going on among university presidents about lowering the drinking age from 21 to 18. Back in July, the Amethyst Initiative was launched in an effort to make this change. The consensus is that by lowering the drinking age to 18, that will prevent binge drinking. On their website, amethystinitiative.org, you can find out what this bold idea is all about. So far, 129 university presidents have signed their name in favor of the new drinking age. You can also find comments as to why they believe it should be changed. One president writes, It's ridiculous that we can send young men and women to war, but they can't legally drink a beer. They can vote for our next president, but they can't legally drink a glass of wine. While many university presidents are in favor of this new drinking age, McNeese State University President Robert Bear is on the fence. I've got mixed feelings about the, the you know, decision. I'm not solidly on one side or the other, um, but I am bothered with the number of deaths that are apt to increase since they went down so drastically when the change was made. And when it comes to whether or not changing the legal drinking age to 18 would actually reduce binge drinking, President Hebert says he's not convinced. I don't think there's any way to be sure about that. You know, when the drinking age was uh, first um, raised, the, um, the, the number of, of deaths from accidents went down. And it was a fairly significant drop, and that, ma that bothers me. Uh, it makes me wonder whether these 100 presidents really got it right or not. And even among the students that we talked to at McNeese State University who would be most affected by the Amethyst Initiative, there's mixed feelings as to whether or not this is a good idea. I don't think it's a good idea just because I've seen what it can do to people when they think that they're just having fun and eventually it turns into a really big problem. I mean. I think if we can fight for our country at 18, I think we can drink. Now Sam Baudin, who is 18 years old, says that if someone wants to drink, they're going to, no matter what the legal drinking age is. It really doesn't make a difference, but it'd be a lot more convenient for sure. But how would the Amethyst Initiative stand up in the legislature? I asked Congressman Charles Bustani to weigh in on this idea. I, I think it's reasonable for college uh, chancellors and university presidents to, to have that discussion. But they need to broaden it if they're going to do it and, and really base any recommendations they come up with uh, on fact. I don't know what the facts are at this stage as to, as to what you know, the best policy would be, but I think a, a strong dialogue would be very important. Before you start uh, tinkering with policy, particularly at the federal level, I think clearly we need good, solid data. But I think the real effort ought to be educational. It ought to be educating folks on being responsible and being responsible for their behavior. That's really the most important thing. And I think it starts before college. I think parents have to take responsibility with children at a young age. And when asked if he thought we could expect any changes anytime soon, the congressman had this to say. I don't see it uh, in the near future being lowered. Uh, there's been no discussion here in Congress on that issue. So according to Congressman Bustani, even with the already 120 signatures of university presidents all over the country, it's going to take more than that to get the Amethyst Initiative passed. And while 18-year-olds are able to get into the bar, they won't be drinking while they're here, at least not anytime soon. I'm Adam Hooper, Inside McNeese.